See that shit? Do you see that shit? Yeah, guess what I'm not dealing with? That. <laughs> Alright everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls. Um, quick note, when you come back down here after we've talked to, um, God, I can't remember the NPC's name, but he was the one who taught us pyromancy at the beginning. Um, when you come down here, he'll actually be right over on that riverbank there, or the shore just across here. And he actually, he turned hollow, so... Unfortunately, I had to kill him. It was a little heartbreaking because he was my friend, but, you know, he broke the promise ring. Anyway, so we're going to move forward. going to get to the next area that we need to get to here. Let's see, I hope I'm going the right way. Because I'm pretty sure... Okay, yeah, it's just over here. Now, this next area I'm going to go to kind of sucks because it's very easy to um, get turned around in because no pun intended but it's a giant tree so there's a lot of branching multiple pathways let's see all right let's get rid of that pick that up you know you're gonna walk in here and think oh there there's not shit to this but then you come over here and ta-da then you think oh all we have is a chest but this, yeah, this area, it gets very, okay, before I go any further, I'm going to change up some of my equipment here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Where is, aha. Not going to need the purple moss right now but yeah basically this is just a giant tree I mean for any of those who played Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time imagine that first level within the giant tree but times like 10 like this gets a lot more expansive than you would think ah oh, crap and right now this is kind of a personal struggle for me mentally because I don't even remember my preferred path that I would take on here but we're just gonna go through it we're gonna do our best and hope for the best now you'll think that you can hit those open that those are false walls but they're not so I'm not gonna waste my time on them yeah, even going for that crystal lizard is a little too dicey. At least for me. I mean, I just... For me, there's nothing more... defeating than falling off edges in a Souls game. Yeah, It's just one of those things that's like, when it gets you, you feel like, okay, that's just shit. Okay, there's only one of these fuckers left. And he's dead. Weird. Usually, if I remember correctly, there was like a crystallized or a stoned um, statue of uh, someone else who got cursed. Which, when you see it, it almost gives you like that feeling of hopelessness. Like, oh god, this is just going to be terrible. Which, I mean, this level really is, but... <laughs> let's see oh, shit yeah this is where it starts getting just more convoluted than you would hope um shit I think I messed up somewhere and even these drop offs like you can look down and think okay that's like a flat surface but 
a lot of times these are actually rounded off and you can screw yourself over a lot harder than you would think which is what I'm trying to avoid like right now I'm like do I want to risk trying to roll onto one of those or just keep going Uh, so, okay, hey, got it. Let's see. That's pretty much my most immediate path. Yeah! Didn't even break a sweat. Alright, I'm taking a lot more risks than I usually would, which is probably pretty bad, but you know, I might even be able to survive that drop if worse comes to worse, but if I can avoid it, I would sincerely like to. Okay, yeah, I just screwed myself over by coming here. My only, oh, well, maybe I can drop. Nope. Shit. So let's get him out of the way. Heal. Because there's going to be, I think, one or two more down here somewhere. Well, okay. That situation took care of itself. That scene where he just fell, there's actually a ladder. Okay, he's dead, so that's at least one less worry on my mind. Let's see, that's the one I just killed. Alright, so, we're gonna take the ladder down. First, let's not push my luck too far. Whee! Shit. Okay. Oh, don't get cursed, don't get cursed, thank you. Now, there's more of them, but I'm gonna try not to take yeah I'm just gonna try and get through this shit cuz I've screwed myself more on this level than I have in any other fucking Souls game my first time playing and I'd rather not repeat that pattern so let's see what I want to do let's come down here all hear one of them trying to pedal after me. Oh! No! 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 Fuck! See what I mean? So... Alright. I'm gonna skip ahead. See you guys in a minute. Alright, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, so on my way back down, I had accidentally taken a different path gotten myself swarmed and cursed which means my HP is stuck at half until I get it fixed so you know that just goes on the emphasis of be cautious don't do what I did stick to the path um, you know I'm not as upset about the souls I had lost as much as you know now I have this status ailment and it kinda sucks excuse me little guy I'm not trying to, you know, mess with you too much. And these mushrooms, like, they look cute and adorable, like, they wouldn't do much, but they can actually inflict some serious damage. So, just be cautious with that. I love how they make a loon call when they die. It's so majestic. Alright, yeah, this is where I wanted to go on before. This basically makes like a spiral staircase down to where we need to be. It's just these fuckers get in the way and it kind of sucks. Anyone up for some rusted marsh mushrooms? Alright, cool. Now we got some pizza toppings. Now let's just make our merry way down. Oh god, these ones especially. I don't even know how I missed that. Um, I think what I'm gonna do 
Let's just get my ass down here. Ah, uh, shit, excuse me. And we're just gonna run through. There we go. So now we're at Ash Lake. Woo! Now you might be thinking, cool, now we can relax, go swimming, but no. <laughs> oh, I'll show you guys in a minute why it is not time to relax just yet. In fact, it's kind of the totally opposite. Especially now that I'm cursed, it's gonna only gonna make this run through all the more difficult. So we're gonna gonna rest up a bit. Now at this point, I don't have to worry about physical damage. Uh, we're gonna put that on because it'll at least make it easier for my stamina. Alright, so now I'm gonna try and stick to the right as much as I can without falling because this place, uh, 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 uh nope, this place has more uh, water drop-offs than when we fought the first Hydra, but there's another one, and you might be thinking, well, shit, we should be able to deal with him just as much as the last one, right? No, no, no. No, 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 no. This one can actually move around. This one is basically Resident Evil 3 fucking nemesis on fucking steroids. Especially because there's something he can do, which I'm not going to give spoilers, but I will show you in a minute. You're going to see it. Alright, so let's get over here. Alright, alright, alright. Not only does he dive down, wait for it. Just fucking wait for it. See that shit? Do you see that shit? Yeah. Guess what I'm not dealing with? That. <laughs> nope. No thank you, sir. Okay. I do want to try and keep an eye on him as I go through this, though. That much is for sure. Because, yeah, he's pretty much going to hound us until we get through this. Oh, shit. He is right fucking there. And, oh, God. Okay, I fucked myself. Let's see if we can get away. God, he is right fucking there. Uh, okay. Just got out of the way of that one. I should have put on my other shield, which uh, increases my stamina, but fuck it. Fuck it. If I don't make it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm on a mission though. I'm on a mission. Because once you get to a certain point, he will stop chasing you, and it's right about here. Granted, I would still recommend running for a while because he can still get those long range attacks in. Yeah, I think, yeah, just out of his range now. So, pretty much safe. And then we got this guy. He's our friend. We party. Hello! We're gonna pray to him, enter the covenant, just so that way we can get some really neat items. Cool. And now I'm gonna show you guys a little something else. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know about this, but check this out. We can cut off his tail, get a great sword. And he doesn't even turn hostile. He still loves us. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my ailments figured out. As well as, you know, all the other shit I got to take care of. And that's going to conclude today's episode. I know, not real all that eventful. But, 
that's the episode for today. I will see you guys next time, and I love you, bitches.